today I'm reviewing the La Roche Posay Anthelios 60 Ultralight Sunscreen Fluid. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. So I did take French for like eight years, but I still butcher the names of everything, but uh La Roche Posay has several different sunscreens under their Anthelios uh, brand or header. And uh, they're six, this is a SPF 60, it's their ultralight uh, sunscreen fluid. So it's got a very fluid texture. Um, and actually the interesting thing is I got about four of these little samples from Walgreens. I went to pick up a prescription several months ago and uh, there's a gal there and she gave me some samples of these to try. So I'm very thankful that she was able to give me these samples to try um, because to be honest, I would not purchase the full size and I am going to let you guys know um, based on my Sarah score scale. So my first criteria is packaging and uh, the, these obviously are deluxe travel sizes. The full size also comes in a bottle with a uh, kind of a pump on the end or a squeeze tube almost. So they do a good job packaging the product and protecting the antioxidants from exposure to light and air. So uh, they've done a very good job with that. My second criteria is denatured alcohol. And that is where I ran to my first issue with this. Hi, Lincoln. Goodbye. Okay. It's camera shy today. Uh, so I usually try things out for a couple of weeks before I read the ingredient list because I don't want to uh, bias myself knowing the ingredients uh, and then after I know the ingredients, looking for issues when I'm using it. So I used this for a couple weeks and did notice the light texture and the fact that it absorbed or evaporated almost instantly. And then when I came to uh, investigate the ingredients, denatured alcohol is the third ingredient. And it's kind of interesting to see that in a sunscreen that's supposed to protect your skin from the UV rays and skin damage because denatured alcohol uh, in and of itself causes free radical damage and cell death, which is probably what gives this the very uh, light fluid texture that it has. Uh, so I definitely th suspected that it had denatured alcohol in it, but I wasn't expecting that was going to be the third ingredient. Um, I'd be a little bit more forgiving if they had this towards the very end of the ingredient list, but to have it as one of the first ingredients instead of having a good uh, antioxidant or something else in it uh, is pretty unfortunate. So, um, so I was a little bit bummed to see that. Thankfully, my third criteria is fragrance, and this does not have any fragrance ingredients at all, so it really has uh, no scent. It's a chemical sunscreen, so it has a, a little bit of that chemical scent, but that dissipates very quickly probably evaporates with the denatured alcohol. So along with some of your skin cells. On to number four, which is the manufactured location. This is made in France, so no issues there. My fifth criteria is ease of use, and it's very easy to use. Obviously, it's a very light texture, so you're gonna shake it up a little bit. Hi, Ike. Ike does not need sunscreen because he is covered in fur, don't you? Hi. You're such a good boy. Yeah, anyway. Thank you for the moral support. So it does have a very light texture. I guess that's probably why they call it a fluid. Uh, so as you can see, it's very light, uh, absorbs quickly or evaporates quickly. Uh, but it's very easy to smooth over skin and uh, it doesn't really affect anything underneath it. So if you have a moisturizer on underneath, it didn't cause any pilling or any issues with foundation. Uh, but a lot of that fluid texture is because of the amount of denatured alcohol. If you look at it, it's like a liquid, and I guess that's why they call it fluid. It's it's a liquid. So I'm guessing they're gearing this more towards normal to oily skin, but sometimes when you have oily skin, exposing it to denatured alcohols and drying things can sometimes cause your pores to uh, make more oil because it's kind of reacting to the denatured alcohol drying it and says, oh my gosh, I need to produce more oil. So... Uh, anyway, so that's kind of the issue there, but it is easy to apply. My sixth criteria is antioxidants, and it's very, very light on the antioxidants and heavy on denatured alcohol. Uh, there's really not a ton of antioxidants in there. Um, and in terms of pigmentation, uh, it's a very light fluid texture, but since it's a chemical sunscreen, not a mineral or physical sunscreen, it doesn't have any white cast or anything. So that's kind of nice, but I wish they would included more antioxidants instead of more denatured alcohol. So 
Um, number seven is animal testing, and uh, La Roche Posay is not cruelty free. Uh, number eight is performance, and I gave this a thumb up. Uh, it probably will shield you from UV rays, especially the fact that it's a UV or not a UV and SPF level of 60. I love that. Uh, but at the same time, you're drying out your skin and doing free radical and possibly cell damage by using the denatured alcohol. So uh, you're protecting your skin from the sun, but still damaging at the same time. I guess it's kind of an oxymoron almost. So I wish they would have went on a different uh, different formulation with this uh, and left it as a SPF level of 60. So, um, so anyway, at least it will protect you from getting burnt, I guess. Um, and then on to price, and it is $29.99, and the full size is 1.7 ounces. So it is pricey, uh, but like I showed you, a little bit goes a long way due to the uh, alcohol in here. So, uh, so you'll probably get a little bit more coverage than you would with a traditional or a thicker sunscreen, but it still is a little bit pricey. And then on to the number 10 it factor. I didn't give it the thumb up there because... Um, I was just bummed to see denatured alcohols number three. And a lot of people know there's uh, drying alcohols and then there's fatty alcohols. And uh, denatured alcohol is a drying alcohol. So I always make that distinction and investigate because there's so many different types of alcohol. You have to sometimes do a little bit of digging to find out if it's a good one or a bad one. Denatured alcohol is a bad one. So I wish they would have included some antioxidants. Uh, they could have done a lot better job, and in my opinion, uh, La Roche-Posay makes much better sunscreens than this one. Uh, so, um, especially from their Anthelios line, they've got some other better ones that are worth checking out. This one is one to pass on, in my opinion. So, um, overall, this got a 5 out of 10 on the Sarah score scale, so they definitely had some opportunities to do a little bit better. Uh, this one should be a pass for you guys. It has some decent ratings, but I don't think the people rating it probably know a lot about or have done a lot of investigation about some of the ingredients. So um, anyway, so there's better ones from this line to check out. So um, anyway, I'm interested if you guys have, have had a chance to try this one or if you've tried any of the other sunscreens from La Roche-Posay. Uh, and if so, which ones have you tried and how have you liked them? So uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come with at least one new review every day. And as always, check out nobsbeauty.net and the Amazon link below if you want to help support the channel. Thank you so much, guys.